Hey, how are you? This is Mike, and I'm here with the mid-season report. Well, let's see. The second half of the season is going to bring us uh, holidays, a new president, uh, teams and plays going up and down, and uh, we'll see where the second half takes us. Uh, right now, almost everybody still has a chance to get into the playoffs. Uh, we've seen so far replacement refs. We've seen injuries, we've seen uh, Gangnam Style, we've seen a play Asian players. Uh, we saw the surprises of the year, is that uh, Andrew Luck, RJ3, uh, uh, have done so well. Arizona, Atlanta's going, went 5-0, and and Trent Richardson's uh, also having a very good year. You know, on the downside, it's been the Saints, the Packers, and Detroit. Have been kind of disappointments. We've also seen new life, new life in some players like Reggie Wayne, Tony Gonzalez, Peyton Manning, even Brandon Marshall. Uh, the leaders right now in the NFL are uh, Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback, Ray Rice at running back, AJ Green surprisingly at wide receiver, and the Bears defense has really been dominant right now. That's as far as the NFL goes. As far as we go right now, uh, we have a tie for first place with uh, Rosa Powell's and uh, Giants steps, both being 5-1. Rosa Powell's leaving by, by 9 points, uh, 8 points for the total points for the year. And uh, Hell Raises had the highest total score of 182 points for any given week right now. Uh, just to go over some basic things uh, for the end of the season, uh, the trade deadline will be November 25th. So all trades have to be done by November 25th. Uh, I think everything's pretty much pretty paid up as far as finances go. So that's kind of an important thing. The playoffs, once again, will go 1-6 to six makes the upper tier. On week 14, the first two teams will have a bye week. Which means the video piece play six, four play five in the first week. We will have a bottom tier for the toilet bowl at that point. Also, uh, when it comes to standings, points are a tiebreaker. So we've had some mistakes during the year of people, you know, having players in that were hurt or players in that were on bye weeks. I mean, these points might come back to haunt you when it comes to the standings and where you're seated at that point. Uh, I've tried uh, through my articles and whatever just to make this website a little more personal and uh, I only know about three people in the league and I only like two of them but I asked at the beginning of the league to uh, you know to get more personal everybody but I kind of see that we're that more on not that vocal when I came, came to things uh, another problem is that I want to say is we have a team here Despicable C, who four out of six weeks is out of players either off on bye weeks, injured, or, in, or cut, not even on teams. Now, I'm not here to take anybody's money. I'm not here for an easy win. I'm here at this point to have competition, and I don't think it's fair that at, at any point when you're looking to gain a spot, that somebody's playing a team that has people on it that aren't even playing. So, uh, I think that's something that we have to really have to address. If it was up to me, I would have took this team over already, you know. And uh, I hate to do that because, like I said, I want to take everybody's money. But if this continues, I would really talk to Steve because he's been the one that's talked me out of it. About taking this team over and uh, just whatever money he wants, just give him at that point. Because it's really, we're really here for competition, you know. And this isn't a Yahoo League where you don't know anybody. This is going to be a league that we're going to try to keep on for year to year to year. So, um, you know, I just hope that we have a good time in the second half of the year. I got, like I said, I know none of these are really that personable right now, which I, it's understandably. But I wish us all the best for the second half of the year coming up. And, of course, you know, any problems, you talk to me and Steve. And uh, good luck to everybody. Let's have a good time in the second half of the year.